The essential mitzvah of the Seder nights is, of course, to eat Shmura Matzah. As God commanded, each Jew should eat Shmura Matzah on the night of the 15th of Nisan, which are the two Seder nights. Matzah is made out of any of the five species of grain, preferably wheat. And the Torah says you should guard the matzah. That's why it's called Shmura Matzah, guarded matzah, because from the moment that the water and flour come into contact until the matzah is put into the oven is no less than 18 minutes so that we ensure that the dough doesn't rise and does not become leavened bread. The required amount of matzah that we need to eat is at least one ounce, which is a little bit more than a half of the round matzahs. Why do we eat matzah on Pesach? Says the Torah. Because when we were driven, driven out of Egypt by Paro, we quickly were making provisions and we made, made our dough and it didn't have any time to rise. We put it into the oven and thus we all came out of Egypt with the matzahs on our back. And therefore the Torah wanted us to relive the experience of the exodus of Egypt and so we eat matzah on the night of Pesach. In the Zohar, the matzah is called bread of faith. And the reason is that when we journeyed out of Egypt into the barren desert, we didn't ask ourselves, how are, we how are we going to feed our families in the desert? How will we sustain ourselves? But rather, we went out with the pure faith in God, only with the matzahs. And therefore, it's called the matzah of faith. And the same is true now. When we have a pure faith in God, in any condition, in any difficult situation that we find ourselves with a pure faith in God, God will carry us and sustain us in any situation. The Torah calls the bread lechem oni, the poor man's bread, or the, blood of a, or the bread of affliction, says the Talmud, because matzah is made only of flour and water, no other ingredients to enhance it, and that's why it's called the poor man's bread. But the question is, on the Seder night, we are instructed to celebrate our freedom. And that's why the law dictates that on the Seder night, we have to make sure to have the most beautiful Seder table with the best food and fanciest, uh, best dishes and cutlery, gold and silver, because we're like kings. We celebrate our freedom. And so why do we eat the poor man's bread when we celebrate our freedom? And the answer is that true richness is richness of spirit. True freedom is freedom of spirit. And the only way for us to experience spiritual freedom is by letting go of our ego. Because just like in the physical, if you want to pour water into a container, but the container is filled full with other things, then there's no room for the water to come in. You need to have an empty container. And the same is true with us. If we are filled with our needs and our self and our ego, we then don't allow for the light of God to enter. There's no space. And therefore, when we let go of our ego and we humble ourselves, we become an empty vessel, just like the matzah, we are humbled. We then allow the light of God to permeate our space and to permeate our whole psyche and consciousness. And by then, we are able to grow and to be the most free people ever. Have a wonderful Pesach.